Hello everyone, this is Nicholas and today we're going to review the ASUS Vivo Watch SP. So there are a lot of things to unpack, let's get right into it. Now as for the display of the Vivo Watch SP, it is a high reflective color LCD. It features a variety of changeable watch faces, overall giving you a powerful health companion that reflects your individual style. That being said, it comes with a preset of a respectable amount of different watch faces. Unfortunately, they are not customizable nor uh, downloadable. Now, as for the battery, the Vivo Watch is running on Bluetooth 4.2. So for a typical usage, the Vivo Watch can last you up to 10 days of usage. And on power saving mode, you can go all the way up to 14 days, which is a total of two weeks. As for water resistance, the Vivo Watch is only rated up to 50 meters, so definitely uh, not recommended if you were to go diving. But a little bit of water splashes and shallow pools should be okay. The watch can also prompt you and serve as a notification for your calls and texts. So you can receive visual and vibration notifications of uh, the incoming calls and texts without you having to take your phone out of your pocket or your bag. Now for features of the ASUS Vivo Watch, there are a lot of things to unpack, so we're going to break it down. Now the Vivo Watch SP features a pair of ECG and also PPG sensors. So this allows um, to calculate the pulse transit, which is also known as PTT, as well as to measure the heart rate, your sleep, your activity and your stress levels throughout the day. So it gives you a variety of insights um, for a better health management. All the information that is retrieved from your Vivo watch can be previewed on the ASUS Health Connect app. So do pair the watch with your mobile device and you can have a preview of your day-to-day -day, um, information and also activities. So with the ECG sensors, um, it measures your body's sympathetic and parasympathetic responses. So vitality index is more on a score of your resiliency to stress, while the body harmony index is more, um, in a sense, an easier way to understand your overall body's uh, stress response. So heart rate, it's able to accurately monitor your heart rate throughout the day, either continuously or manually. For activity data, it can act as a step counter, so it's able to track your step counts, your distance traveled, your calories burned, and also the duration of your workouts. As for your sleep quality, it's able to measure and also analyze your heart rate. So your sleep duration and of course your movements uh, when you're sleeping for an insightful look at your overall sleep quality. The pulse oxygen sensor measures the saturation level of your blood oxygen, so it allows you to understand how the body is adjusting to the exercises. It has a built-in GPS, so you can track your activity status, such as your speed, your distance, and your duration while you're taking perhaps jogs or even running on the outside. It has an altimeter, so you're able to view your current altitude and also an elevation graph when you are hiking or climbing. So of course, having utilized the Vivo watch for a period of time, I've also discovered some things that I may not like individually. So I'm just gonna name some of them. First of all, it's going to be the watch strap. It is 22 millimeters in size, but the thing that I find is that the rubber texture uh, may not be as comfortable as you would like to be. And um, perhaps because they're aiming this watch towards a more sporty kind of environment. So if it's rubber, it should be able to withstand sweat or even the water. But for such a price, I would have hoped that um, such as Huawei, they would have also included a leather strap uh, to go along with it. So in case if you want to bring the watch to either dinner, uh, that kind of dressy kind of setting, that is also possible. Now the next thing on the list will have to be the vibration motor. Unfortunately, in this case, um, I do find that the vibration on the ASUS Vivo watch is a little bit weak and also on the cheaper side of things. When it comes to notifications, uh, the vibration, I do really think that it plays a very big role um, when you're paying this kind of price. So uh, it should be better in a sense, so I hope to see that it will be improved in the later models. Now as for charging, currently it uses micro USB which is a little bit disappointing. The method of charging is a hassle. 
the way that it's required to clip onto the watch in order for it to charge is uh, very problematic. I would have hoped that they had gone with the magnetic route because that would be so much easier but uh, the clip is definitely a no-go for me. So these are just the little things that I've noticed throughout my use of the Vivo watch and hopefully in the later models things can be better improved. Now in conclusion, the Vivo Watch SP packs a ton of different features. If you are a health freak and you would like to track literally all of your uh, exercising data, I believe the Vivo Watch is very much suitable for you. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Please be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and also click the little notification bell icon so you're notified whenever I upload my videos. I'm Nicholas, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.